Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got something pretty exciting. We got the Zion Crane M, which is a gimbal that is good for a lot of cameras. Mostly point and shoot and a little bit bigger ones like the Sony Alpha series camera. So I'm um, pretty excited. I've never actually had a nice gimbal. This is actually one of the better ones. I've actually used regular stabilizers in the past, but that takes a long time to set up and it just doesn't have the results that are worth it. Seems like a lot of times for my run and gun shooting. So I'm kind of excited about this thing. So let's go ahead and uh, open it up and see what it looks like. So it comes in this really nice case here, it looks like. Check that out, guys. That's a really nice case. It looks like you have a little clip here for like a strap on both sides. Oh wow, check out these zippers. That looks really nice. So it looks like a shoulder strap. Then we have, looks like manuals, battery charger, and a couple batteries. Actually, these are the larger 2650 batteries. That's cool. Um, I think these are supposed to last about 10 hours of continuous use. We have the USB cable here to micro USB, I guess connecting this thing to get updates and stuff to the computer. Here we have a handle and it does have the tripod mount which is great because I think this thing is definitely going to need that tripod. Now let's pull out the big boy here. So they got a little spacer in here. Alright, here is the gimbal. That looks pretty nice. I guess this is the tightening screw where it's held. And we got a really nice little logo here on the back of one of the motors. I'm guessing that says Zion and probably Chinese. Um, there's like this foam pad around here that I'm guessing is uh, covering up the cables. Probably the wires that go in between the motors. All right, guys, so let's put this thing together and see if we can balance something on it. So I got a little charging cable here. Let's see if we can plug it in. All right, so we got blue lights here that glow. And when we put it in, they turn red. And I guess when it's done, it'll actually turn blue again. All right, so here's the handle. So I'm guessing that the batteries go in just like that. There's a little spring action in there. And the handle screws right, right here at the end of the gimbal. So actually, everything feels really good. And the quality is just, just great. All right guys, so right off the bat, I'm noticing that I definitely am gonna need some kind of legs for this thing. And the reason for this is because, you know, you can't stand it up here. You can't even actually put it together without having some kind of stand. So you got to mount it on something. So that's one thing you need to consider that you're probably going to need if your gimbal doesn't come with it. I'm going to use this mini tripod here that, you know, it's not that small. So it kind of makes it really tall, but still could be used. All right, guys, so I got the gimbal sitting on a smaller little table so we can work on it here. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to balance this camera here, which is a Panasonic LX10. So it's a little point shoot camera. It's not tiny. It's you know, like a medium size. Anyway, so it's kind of a perfect for this gimbal. So technically, we want it to sit like this. So we're going to unscrew this provided little screw. Just mount it. You know, the weight should be pretty even between the two. So. So you see where on the bottom here, there's this little hole here for the screw, for the bolt to go in here. This is actually the back. So the front is 
this way. So the flat part is the front and this is the back. But anyways, once you get it here, you can see the camera is acting a lot more better now. So it's still moving around, but that's okay. We can go ahead and adjust it. You just un undo it here and then it just moves around. So that's actually for whenever you first put your camera on. You kind of uh, start with this and then you go to this. So I kind of missed this step, so I want to make sure you guys knew that that's what that's for. So, so we can go either down or up. Now it looks like it needs to go up. Let's go all the way up, see what happens. Okay, it's starting to be a little better. So the point is here is no matter where you put it, it needs to stay there. Okay, so it looks like we have something here that could work. Yes, so as you can see, that's really good. No matter where I put it, it stays there. Uh, that's what you want. So this is the first one you do. So next one you go to would be the one in the back here. So the reason you go here is because this is your next pivot point, which where the camera goes this way. You can see what it's doing. It's just dropping this way now. So you need to go that way. So you're going to scoot it that way. And that looks to be about right. So, so no matter where you put your camera now, it should stand pretty still. So honestly, these are the two main ones. Like if you get these two, this one, and this one, right? Pretty much it, that'll handle pretty easy. There is the third one that you have to do. It's not super important, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna lean the whole thing over like this. The thing that you're trying to adjust here is, is this movement of this arm here back here. If I let it go, you can see it goes straight up. See that? It just wants to go straight up. It kind of just knocks off the whole thing. So what you want to do is you want to hold it in this position, horizontal position, and you want to adjust this until it doesn't fall at all anywhere, down or up. So if I put it way back, it's going to fall down now. See, right now it's trying to go up, so that means I need more weight to the back, so I'm going to slide it down a little bit. Yep, and that looks like that's it. So it's standing still now. So that's pretty much good where it's at. So you want to make sure all your little bolts are tight so nothing comes loose as you're using this. And if you get confused, just play around with it. You'll get it eventually. It's not that complicated. It's, it, it seems complicated at first. You know, once you play around with it a little bit, you'll, you'll get used to it and it won't be an issue whatsoever. You'll be able to put this thing on within minutes. So it looks like everything is pretty good. As you can see, no matter where we put it, it stands. So now we can go ahead and turn it on. And speaking of turn it on, we have few buttons here so we got a little joystick here goes up down left right so then we got the mode so here we have the zoom which has to be compatible with the camera so the way we're gonna turn it on is we're gonna use this photo button here and we're gonna hold it and there we go so the camera actually flipped around and went to the front like it's supposed to so hopefully that made sense on the balancing all right guys, so we're back at the desk and as we were moving, the mailman came and actually brought me the new tripod that I ordered. Um, this thing is very tiny. I'm hoping it's gonna be okay. Uh, as you can see, there's the difference from the two tripods. It's pretty significant. Oh yeah, much better guys, much better. Oh, and the stability seems pretty good too. Sometimes you just wanna like set it down to get a shot or sometimes you just wanna take a break to set it down just so you don't have to hold it. So this is a great. And they're small, you can fold them up like this. You can actually use them to hold it. All right, so let's get to the controls of this thing. So here guys, you can see I got the joystick. So the mode I'm in right now is actually the, the, the follow mode, kind of like when I spin my hand, the camera spins with, with the handle here. So that's one mode. So if I click the mode here once, now I completely lost my handle. So now I have to use the joystick to turn left and right, as you can see. So this is full control. I can go up, down, you know, right and left. So if I double click this, the mode button, what I'm going to get now is actually a really cool option is it's going to do everything that I do with the handle. So if I'm turning the handle, it's going to turn too. If I go down, the camera, as you can see, goes down with it. So it's pointing down. Let me turn this thing on. So you can see the camera is following where the gimbal is going. 
so it's controlling it so if you're filming and you need to go down you know you can look down on an item or product or people or whoever but you know if you need to look up you just do this and it looks up so this is a cool one for like run and gun and you know filming people and going down and stuff and up so you can really get a lot of different views with this thing you know you're not just set on one view then you just click it one more time so now you're just your camera is still but you're able to turn the camera with the handle so if you click the mode you're completely manual if you click it once you're controlling back and forth if you click it twice now you everything's being controlled now if you click it three times this is what happens one two three it faces and you become selfie mode what up selfie mode so selfie mode moves around like this up and down to where you want it to go or if you click the mode once it stands still and it just kind of looks straight you know so that way you can get a clean straight look even in selfie mode so anyway so if you click it three times once again it'll go back to where it was and then you can start filming again so it's pretty basic honestly there's nothing too complicated about it so technically in this mode here you can film pretty good like you can film high you can raise your hand all the way up over your head or you can go down really low too now you're gonna have to start this motor here that's gonna get sort of in the way but you can go pretty low before that motor actually gets into the lens and starts to be obscuring you so you can still go all the way to the ground with this even in this mode now if you do need to flip it around you could if the camera lets you like this one doesn't let me you know it sticks out here unfortunately this camera doesn't go more that way the screw hole won't let it so I can't just flip invert it what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to put it in free mode which doesn't basically do anything you know you control everything with the joystick and then and then when you do that just hold your camera and kind of go around however it's going to go around like mine just went around like that and now we have inversion so and this thing actually knows that it's inverted so if I click the mode again my handle works now as you can see and I'm inverted now I can go super low on the ground you know and get those super cool low shots and obviously I can use all the uh, all the modes here you know that you would want to use even on inversion so pretty cool all right guys so we got all the controls here covered hopefully that made sense so far this gimbal seems very nice and smooth as butter let's go out there and uh, see what kind of footage we can get with this uh, nice gimbal so I'm gonna use this LX10 here it does have 4k but the autofocus as we all know on Panasonic sucks so let's take a look at the footage here with the gimbal
right, so here we are. Hopefully that footage was good enough to see. Um, this camera is actually not stabilized in 4K, so you know you're, we're only using the gimbal here. So if you got a camera that has internal stabilization, this will greatly improve all the little jitters and stuff. So take that into account that we were only using the gimbal. This LX10 is cropped quite a bit in 4K. So if you use a wide angle lens, you'll definitely see a lot less jitters and stuff. So, so as long as you stay under that 650 grams of what they rate this thing for, um, you should be fine. I've heard that it can handle more than that. You know, you might not be as agile. Um, so, I mean, you can probably count on this thing for, you know, up to 700 grams. And definitely don't forget to get some kind of feet for it because you're definitely going to need them. All right, guys, hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.